this video, we'll be looking at and summarizing three different books and as to how they approach and get the eigenvalues of the angular momentum operators. We define the angular momentum operators L, L, Y, and L in this manner. The combinatorial relationships that display here, they do not compute. However, the operator L squared defined here does compute with each individual component. After this, we define the eigenfunction F, which is eigenfunction L squared L Z with the eigenvalues of lambda and mu respectively. For this, we define the net operator L plus minus. It does not compute with the individual components, but compute with L squared. From that, we can obtain these two equations. And from this, we can see that applying the net operator F also uses the eigenfunction. If the eigenvalue of mu plus minus k squared, depending on how many times this was applied. However, it can't be applied infinitely. There's the maximum and minimum value of f. Defining f maximum, the mu maximum defined as k squared j. Expanding this equation, we replace this with Lz and obtain now the maximum as this. We do the similar for the minimum value replacing mu minimum k j prime and obtain lambda minimum as this. Comparing these two equations, we can see that j prime is equal to minus j. Okay, so for Sakura, he lets the eigenvalues be a and b initially. Then from the commutation relations, we can see that the step up operators can be seen as the eigenvalues of L squared and Lz. So there's a maximum b for any given a. So we will get a is greater than or equal to b squared. So from this equation, we are able to get this equation. Then since a b max cannot be a null cat, we can express a in terms of b max and b minimum. And to, in order to reach the b max cat, we will need to use a step up operator, and then we will get a value for your b max. So we let j equal to b max over h, and then we will get a value for your a. Next, Sakura writes m such that b equals to mh, and there are two j plus one states for m. Then in the end, that's how he gets the eigenvalues for L squared and L z. That really goes a step further and actually finds the eigenvalues of your step out of L plus and L minus. So since given that this state is normalized and we use the Hermitian conjugate and using simple match, we can actually find the eigenvalues of L plus, which is given as C plus. And from there, we can infer our C minus as well, which is given just the minus sign of this. And sometimes the combination of this can be written as this or it can be written this way as well. The LX operator can be can be expressed in terms of your ladder operators of L plus and L minus, and hence uh, the LX operator on JM state okay, will give you the two separate eigenvalues with two different uh, cats with M plus one and M minus one. And since the cats result since it results in different cats, your expectation value will be zero. And likewise, same with